With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the question is, in the given figure, if x by 3 equals to y by 4 equals to z by 5, then find the values of x, y and z. So this is the figure given to us. Okay. So angle P, angle B, P, C is a y degree. Angle D, C, Q, X degree and angle C, Q, D z degree okay so it is given in the question that x by 3 equals to y by 4 equals to z by c so from here what we can write we can write we can take these values equals to k so we can write that x by 3 let x by 3 equals to y by 4 equals to z by 5 equals to k okay so from here we can find that therefore x equals to 3k y equals to 4k and z will be equals to 5k okay now we need to know a simple triangular property which is the angle extended to any triangle will be equals to the opposite will be equals to the sum of the opposite two angles okay so what we can write the property we are going to use is the property we are going to use the angle the angle exterior the angle exterior to the circle uh, to the uh, triangle sorry to the triangle exterior to the triangle is equals to the equal to the sum of the sum of the two opposite two opposite interior interior angles sum of the two opposite interior angles that means we can consider this triangle triangle b c p this is the exterior angle that means triangle b c p has this exterior angle a b c so this angle will be equals to the equals to y degree plus and this angle will be x degree how because these two angles are vertically opposite angle okay so first of all what we can write first of all let's write that angle angle b c p b b c p will be equals to angle d c q d c q y y they are equal because they are vertically opposite so we can write because vertically vertically opposite vertically opposite okay that means so b c p will be equals to x degree so from here using this property we can write that angle a b c is if this is x degree if this is x degree then angle a b c will be x degree plus y degree this will be x degree plus y degree okay x degree plus y degree sorry it will be degree okay so we can write that therefore therefore angle a b c will be equals to x degree plus y degree x degree plus y degree okay now similarly we can write similarly 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 what we can write similarly this angle angle a d c this will also be equals to x degree plus x degree okay so we can write similarly angle a d c is equals to x degree plus z degree now in case of a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d is the cyclic quadrilateral in case of a cyclic quadrilateral what we can find we can say that the opposite angles opposite angles of the cyclic quadrilateral will be supplementary angle that means they will make 180 degree in together so this angle is what this angle is x degree plus z degree okay so what we can write as as a b c d a b c d is a cyclic cyclic quadrilateral cyclic cyclic quadrilateral what we can write that therefore angle angle a b c a b c plus angle a d c angle a d c is equals to 180 degree okay because the opposite angles are supplementary because the because in a cyclic quadrilateral opposite opposite angles opposite angles are opposite angles are supplementary okay as the opposite angles are supplementary we can say angle a b c plus angle a d c is 180 degree now we'll substitute the values okay now so now if we substitute the value the values will be x degree plus y degree plus x degree plus z degree will be equal to 180 degree or it will be 2 of x degree plus y degree plus z degree will be equal to 180 degree okay so now if we substitute the value that means we have taken x as well, the ratios we have taken as k okay so we have found out that the value of x is 3k so it will be 2 into 3k plus 4k plus 5k 
is equals to 180 degree or from here you can find that it will be 2 not 2.3 okay you don't misunderstand it's 2 multiplied by 3 okay so it will be in total it will be 15k 15k will be equals to 180 degree okay from here what we can find or k will be equals to 180 degree divided by 15 which is equals to 12 degree okay so i found out that k is equals to 12 degree so therefore you can find the value of x y z therefore x will be equals to 3 into 12 degree which is equals to 36 degree 36 degree y will be equals to 4 into 12 degree 12 degree which is equals to 48 degree 48 degree and z will be equals to 5 into 12 degree which is equals to 60 degree so this is the required values of xyz so this is the required solution of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today